Hi Scorpio and welcome to your daily tarot advice. This will be for the week of December 10th through December 16th, 2018. I'll start by pulling one card for your overall energy for the week and then I will pull a card for each day. So Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you guys this week. All right, right there. We have, ooh, a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So, um, because this is general, we will talk about that being romantic, and then we'll talk about it not being romantic. So, uh, Scorpio, this week, I feel, first and foremost, you guys are having a, a different kind of love, a new love for yourself and who you are and appreciation and knowing your worth and knowing your value and not being willing to settle for anything less, okay? Some of you, this is just all happening inside of you. This new romantic cycle is happening just in you. Whether you're single or already in a committed relationship, it's like a self-love thing where, you know, if the person you're with has not been honoring you and loving you, you're done with that. Even if it hurts, even, you know, if it's not something that you wanted to let go of, you're like, you know what? Nope. I, I deserve better than that for sure. Okay. Um, and those of you who are single, it could be that, you know, you have really been thinking, I want to be with somebody, all these things, all these things. And now you're kind of getting to a place this week where you're like, you know what? Screw everybody. I'm going to date myself. Like, uh, Scorpio, I feel like many of you are falling in love with yourself or experiencing like this self-love for the first time in such a powerful way, like down into your core, which changes you fundamentally. It changes your vibration and it's just a different type of self-respect, okay? It's not to say you weren't respecting yourself before, but it's almost like if you're giving, giving, tolerating, tolerating, there you're changing that. Your boundaries are shifting and you're realizing that, you know, love is not self-sacrificing and it's not about your own heart being betrayed to accommodate somebody else. Like it's a real balancing of those energies internally. Now for others of you, there could be a brand new romance that is showing up this week and that's just all where your mind is or something new, a newer romance has begun and you're just in the clouds, la la la. I'm just feeling this person and that's all that's on my mind. Um, some of you who are in committed relationships with this, it also could mean where you guys are, are falling in love with each other kind of like all over again, a new level of love, a new level of connection, of being, of experiencing each other. So all in all, Scorpio, this is a very lovely overall energy for the week. It's the start of something brand new within you. So let's pull a card so that we can look at each day individually. All right, so Monday we have the mask. Um, Scorpio, I feel like uh, somebody you're dealing with on Monday is really kind of holding back like they're they're not being vulnerable um they're really closing up their energy it could be for a number of different reasons they could feel insecure they could be afraid to be vulnerable they could have like a lot of emotions for you and so they're hiding them all um you know this could also be scorpio on monday if you're feeling like there's a person in your life a friend a family member a romance that is just fake they, you're probably right, okay? Um, if you feel like somebody's hiding something on Monday, they most definitely are, okay? So really trust your intuition, and if you feel like somebody's fronting, they're fronting. All right, Tuesday, we have regret. So uh, Scorpio, this could be a couple of different things. Um, there could be somebody that's talking to you on Tuesday that's like, I am so sorry for all these different things, um, or you're helping somebody with a problem that they're just dying in remorse about um, and, and seeking your guidance. Scorpio, please help me make sense of this. Please help me feel better about this. I totally screwed up. Um, others of you, because this is general, this could be where Scorpio, you're feeling really guilty 
um, about a choice that you've made or something that you've said, okay? On Wednesday, look at this. The answer is no. And I have to say, Scorpio, this came out in your romance reading as well, all right? And nobody's happy with me for that reading. I don't know why, but I'm like, I can only read the cards as they come. And here is the answer no again. So on Wednesday, Scorpio, uh, whatever your question is, whatever's going on, the answer is no. So no could be a positive or it could be a negative, right? Um, is, is my partner cheating on me? The answer is no. Um, or does uh, my partner really love me? The answer is no. All right. So if they're cheating, we want it to. If we're curious if they're cheating, we want it to be no. But if it's do they really love me, we don't want the answer to be no. Right. So this is a general reading, and I will just leave it at that and say on Wednesday, whatever's going on in your world personally. Just remember this card and see how it's applying to you. How is spirit trying to guide you for Wednesday by saying no? Keep that in mind, okay? Thursday, look at this. We have devotion. So Thursday, um, you are really connecting to spirit. You are really trying to navigate things um, through a spiritual sense rather than through your emotional body or just reality like um, logic I should say it's your spirit is like no Scorpio you've got to hear me you've got to move from these vibes because you know as a water sign Scorpio you are it's your vibration is all about you know the container in which you are in so when you're at your job your container is much different therefore your energy is different at your job when you're in your home the environment of that container is much different so your vibe is going to be different it's like on Thursday no matter where you are what container you're in it's just your spirit is really really strong on um, more than that like your faith and your belief in the divine is just like all-encompassing and those of you who are incredibly spiritually gifted, this Thursday could be a day of, um, you know, deep, deep downloads and just uh, realizations and epiphanies. And then now we come to Friday and we're refocusing our energy. So, you know, any sort of challenge that you may have been facing earlier in the week, um, it, that's all changing on Friday. It, it's like the energy starting out and things are making sense to you. On Saturday, we're feeling a little bit afraid though. What are we afraid of, Scorpio? Are we afraid of change? Are we afraid of letting go? Are we afraid of letting somebody new in? And then on Sunday, we have pride and ego. So uh, on Sunday, Scorpio, you could be dealing with somebody who is just a big time show off. Hey, look at me. Look at what I can do. Um, or if somebody has kind of really screwed things up, Scorpio, they might be having a really hard time apologizing or telling you that they were wrong. Their ego, their pride stands in the way of that and they're too afraid um, to take the mask off and fully expose themselves, okay? So if this is all about like a romantic situation for you, what I'm getting here is somebody has really worn a mask, really hid their feelings, made some stupid decisions, and you know, what's going on is it's a matter of pride and ego. It's not a, a lack of love, a lack of connection, none of that. It's like somebody's pride and ego is really in the way this week um, in regards to love and romance. If that is not what this is about, this is like in your workplace. Again, it's like somebody knows they were wrong, Scorpio. They know they were wrong, but they're trying to like pretend that they weren't. Like they, they're not owning it and if they turn their back on it, then they feel like they can just forget it and it will just like go away. Like they're not owning it. Do Does the person who wronged me, do they think that they're wrong? No, not this week. They don't, Scorpio, because they're too much in their ego about things. They're too prideful to take responsibility and accountability. So um, you've just got to trust and have faith that, you know, everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to. But, um, you know, somebody may not come around this week and tell you that they were sorry or that they were wrong, even though you know that they are. 
just give it a bit more time, okay? Um, and those of you like who have really been like struggling romantically, this is all changing, Scorpio. You guys are connecting better. It looks like somebody has to get rid of some ego, some pride, or really step outside of their comfort zone and allow themselves to be vulnerable, okay? So if you're dealing with somebody and it's like they're in and you can feel they're in, but it's also like they're distracted or disconnected, it's more because they're afraid to expose themselves and be vulnerable rather than a lack of interest or anything along those lines, okay, Scorpio? So let's um, pull a card to get you guys some advice on how to navigate these energies for this week. Right. It says, detach. Worry over nothing and fear nothing. Truly let go. Detach and leave all of your past behind, emotional or material. You will be adequately provided for, but not through holding on to attachments. The universe enforces the perfect balance. Live simply. So yeah, Scorpio, with detach, it's like this week, again, somebody isn't seeing the light quite yet. They will, okay? But this week, they're not. So if you're trying to find, like, resolution or receive that apology or that understanding, it's not going to happen. And look at this card just flew out as I was lifting up the deck. Um, and this says, be patient. You are not patient enough. Patience is not about doing nothing. Patience is knowing profoundly that nothing can be done to change the situation in the present moment. Wait and the ev inevitable will materialize. Yes. So, Scorpio, this week... Whoever's in the wrong, um, it's they're just they're too much in their ego. They're too much about their pride, and they can't come back down to earth just yet. So you're best served to detach and wait it out. Rely on your faith, and um, they will come around. Okay, things are changing. A new cycle is beginning here, Scorpio. So let's pull one final card. Yes, look at this. We got the harp. This Scorpio is saying, you know, no matter what, speak, speak praise of others. Speak highly of others. Um, if you don't have something nice to say about somebody because there's not a darn nice thing to say about them, then say nothing at all, okay? With the harp, it's like only speak words of praise. Only speak kindness. Um, it doesn't mean to pretend like things that are negative aren't there. It's just it's better left unsaid this week, okay? And also, Scorpio, as you kind of detach and just let things unravel and play out on their own, uh, when the person or persons involved in all of this come back around, they're going to speak very highly of you. If there's anybody who isn't trying to have your back this week, there's somebody else who's going to have it and really speak highly of you, okay? So... Very important that what comes out of your mouth is positive. Um, if you're asked about somebody else and what do you think of this person and what are their weaknesses, you know, don't lie, but say it as emotionally detached as you can so it's more of like a fact and people aren't thinking you're convoluting it with your own emotional um, feelings or having an emotional bias. So make sure that you're very factual and very positive in how you articulate yourself or when asked about others this week. Okay, Scorpio, and as far as any crazy energy, just detach and let it play out because somebody needs to come back down um, from Mars back to Earth and uh, own their behavior. And it's probably not going to happen this week, but, you know, don't freak out. It's eventually going to unfold. There's a new cycle beginning here, but it's probably, they're not going to come around this week, I don't think. I, I think it's going to be um, it, at some time to come after this, okay? So, Scorpio, those are your messages for this week. And before I end this video, I would just like to give uh, another shout out to my friend Heather, who does a weekly um, blog talk radio show on Tuesdays, 5 Central, 8 Eastern. I have mentioned this in my community tab page, but she talks about a spiritual subject and then she opens the phone lines to free mini readings. She is an outstanding medium, um, very genuine, 
one of the most real I have ever encountered in my life. And um, you will not be disappointed just listening to her read for others and share her soul wisdom as well as if you really need um, some advice, a good reading, especially in matters to passed on loved ones, I highly recommend booking a reading with her. Um, she gave me one and oh, she, you will not be disappointed, Scorpio. I've listed all of her information in the description box below if you are so interested. Otherwise, Scorpio, you guys have a fabulous week. Take care.